ma chambre à la forme d'une cage Le soleil passe son bras par la fenêtre Les chasseurs à ma porte comme les petits soldats Qui veulent me prendre Je ne veux pas travailler Je ne veux pas déjeuner je veux seulement oublier Et puis je fume Déjà j'ai connu le... Welcome to the UFPA Philosophy Lectures, everyone. I'm Emiliano Bucardi, and this is the first of a series of conversations with the logician and philosopher Graham Priest. Throughout the um, history of Western thought, very few philosophers dare to question the principle which says that contradictions cannot be true. And so much so that hardly anyone after Aristotle has tried to defend it. Professor Priest belongs to the small number of philosophers who did question it, in good company of Heraclitus and Hegel, among others. Um, he thinks that some contradictions are actually true, and he's going to tell us why. Let us welcome Graham Priest. Welcome, Graham. How are you? Thank you very much for being with us. Hi, Emiliano. Welcome. Oh, thank you for your welcome. Thank you to you and your readers. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, I mean, I'm locked down in <laughs> the United States. Uh, I'm, I expect you're locked down where you are, and a number of our listeners. Yeah. Um, at least those at the present juncture are locked down as well. Yeah. So this is one of the strange times we find ourselves in, but um, we make the best of it. <laughs> Okay, so for today, um, I would like you to introduce some of the basic concepts that I needed to understand your views about contradiction. Um, so could you give us a rough and ready characterization of the notion of contradiction? What is a contradiction? And uh, um, of the principle of non-contradiction in its canonical formulations? Yeah, okay. So, first of all, a contradiction. Um, maybe this is best explained by a few examples. Um, so, um, the sun is shining, the sun is not shining. Um, Socrates is mortal, Socrates is not mortal. Um, all men are mortal, some men are not mortal. Um, so, the, these are pairs of statements such that... Um, if one is true, the other is false. Um, so logicians sort of categorize various pairs of statements as contraries, contradictories, subcontraries. We don't need to go into the details now. But the sort of characterization of a contradictory pair uh, is one that sort of goes back to Aristotle, um, such that if one is true, the other is false. And if one is false, the other is true. That's a contradiction. And can you tell us what the principle says? There, there's been several formulations of the principle of non-contradictions. And uh, I think after Lukasiewicz, it's standard to distinguish a, uh, an ontological formulation uh, from a logical formulation and from a psychological formulation. Could you give us a characterization of the principle? What do you think is the best way to characterize the principle? Sure. Um, this is less easy than one might have thought. Um, Dialethism, the view that some contradictions are true, has now been a debate that's gone on in current philosophy, logic, metaphysics for some 40 or 50 years. Um, and as you might guess, it's got kind of a tangle sometimes. Um, one of my colleagues um, wrote a paper on what the law of non-contradiction means, and uh, he uh, enumerated something like 230 different possible variations. <laughs> so, um, let's, let's not get uh, into scholarly niceties too much. Um, the way that Aristotle characterizes the law of non contradiction is kind of simple. Um, no contradiction could be true. Um, that is probably a good starting place. 
there are kind of problems with that because a dialetheist believes that some contradictions are true. And if you believe that some contradictions are true, you might also believe that no contradictions are true. That's a contradiction, okay. Um, but if you're not ruling out contradictions out of hand, then uh, it's not obvious why you should rule that one out. So that's a kind of subtlety. Um, so if you want to get around that problem, you've got to characterize the law slightly differently. Uh, and it's got to be something like you can't accept a contradiction rationally. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that shifts the register of the principle. It talks about what you can and can't rationally accept. Um, but as a first cut, Aristotle's characterization is, is pretty good. You know, uh, uh, contradictions can't be true. That, that'll probably do for the moment until mm -hmm. uh, we need to look at the question more carefully. 